Hello and welcome to Rude Man's Computer. I just received the latest version of uh, CoursePlay. It's a developer's version. And I thought I would do a quick tutorial to show you where to get it and how to install it. So the first thing we need to do is open up the web. And the page you want to go to is https github slash courseplay slash courseplay. Once you arrive here, you're going to look for this download zip right down here. And we are going to download that. Okay, and we're going to save the file. Once you do that, I usually grab it and drag it to my desktop. And then we can close the internet down. Now, once I have it on my desktop, I'll, I use uh, 7Z. 7-zip and we're, I'm going to unzip this so we need to double click on it if you want uh, I usually just right click on it go to 7-zip and I uh, usually extract the files here that puts it right on my desktop where I want it okay once I've done that I can actually take this zip and throw it away don't need it okay so there's the folder, Course Play Master. You open it up. That's what's in it. These are the files you need to make Course Play work. What we need to do is get them back into zip form. So uh, you want to either uh, do that and hit Shift and do this, or you can right click and do Select All, whichever you choose to do. Once you have all of those selected, we need to archive those. So right click on that. Go to 7-Zip or whatever program you're using to zip your files or unzip your files. And we're going to add that to an I archive. And we want to make sure we add it to a zip archive. And in this case, I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to call it Course Play. And, yeah, just make sure. Now, if you're using 7-Zip, you have a choice here. You can make it a ZZ or a TAR or a WIM or a ZIP. Just make it a ZIP. Make sure it's a ZIP file. Say OK. And what you'll find out is it adds that right there. That's the file you want. So next thing you want to do is open up the File Farming Simulator 2015. And there's my mod folder. So there's the mod folder that I use. And all you need to do from there is just grab that zip file that you just created, drag it over, and drop it in there. And that's all there is to it. Close all this up and then let's see if it's in game let's start farming simulator 2015 once you get to the to the uh, farming uh, simulator 2015 opening page the easiest way to find out whether you have it is go into options down here you'll see mods click on that and there's course play right there so this is course play version 3.41 this is a uh, beta or a developer's build. That being said, you need to be aware it could be unstable. I recommend that you back up any of your games. You should do that anyway. Back up your games and keep it someplace other than where you normally keep your games. If anything goes wrong, you can go back to your backup game. You won't have lost anything. Um, and again, it's a developer's version. It could be unstable. If you're playing uh, farming simulator 2015 and using this developers version of course play and there is a problem uh, the developers would appreciate if you go back to where you got this program on the web the github page and uh, let them know what you were doing at the time you had a problem and what the problem was that's that's what a, how a beta works and that's what they would like to have you do so that they can make it uh, work properly so that being said that's all there is to it have fun in game, and I'll see you there.